Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how to obtain all the new druid forms in patch 10.2. But before I begin, I would like to offer a quick disclaimer that some of these locations that I will be showing in the video were found through the wowhead comment section, and I will do my best to credit the individuals in the description below. But without further ado, let's start out by exploring some of the new bear forms. To acquire this awesome looking druid form, you will need to obtain the Mark of the Hibernating Rune Bear, which has a chance to drop from the world boss in the Emerald Dream. Next we have a few different bear forms known as the Bristol Bruins. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not 100% sure, but please keep in mind that some of my pronunciations on these names like Bristol Bruins, uh, Hibernating Rune Bear, okay that, that one might be a bit easier to say, are not gonna be the best, so please bear with me. Anyways, let's get back to the video. You can obtain the first one by defeating a ram mob who is located inside of this cave. Once you enter the cave, just proceed further down. There you'll find the bear in its natural habitat, sleeping in the back of the cave. Defeating it will give you a chance to obtain the mark. The second form is pretty simple to get. Just fly to this location and loot the first sample from the ground to unlock the appearance. We also have a few Umbra Claw appearances available for your bear form, so let's take a look at those. You can obtain this first one by purchasing a Mark of the Umbra Claw, and you can get it from an NPC located at the Eye of Yasera. After getting it, you will need to use the Mark to attune Owl Bears, which can be found throughout the entirety of Emerald Dream. Once you've attuned enough bears, you will eventually unlock the appearance. To obtain the white appearance, you can either purchase it for one seed bloom from Whisper Bloom at the Central Encampment, or try your luck with the Emerald Bounty by planting a giant dream seed. One of the ways that you can obtain a dream seed is by completing the new weekly quest that can be found just outside of the Central Encampment. If you want more details on super blooms, dream seeds, and so on, make sure to check out my other video where I go more in depth with that. A last bear form appearance has a chance to drop from a rare mob called Mosa Umbra Main, and you can find the rare located inside of this cave. I think one of the main reasons why druids are so excited about patch 10.2 is the possibility to customize your boomkin form. I'm happy to say that most of the customization options will be unlocked as soon as you log in. However, there are three customization options that you can get from Tindril, who is one of the new raid bosses in patch 10.2. You can obtain this particular color combination, decoration, and effect color. Everything else is unlocked as soon as you log in. Moving on, we have a few new flight forms. This first one drops from Farrakh on Mythic difficulty, and you will learn it once you obtain the mount. Let's be honest, some of us will have to wait 3, 4, 5 expansions before getting it, but oh well, it is what it is. If you want to obtain the Azure Owl, you will need to complete a short quest line in the Emerald Dream. To begin the quest line, simply talk to Scenarius at the central encampment and follow the quest line until you unlock the appearance, which shouldn't take too long to do. You can also obtain the Slumbering Owl by casting Hibernate on Summon Owls, which are found throughout the Emerald Dream. While they are asleep, you want to click on them to obtain a soft feather. Once you have collected 5 soft feathers, combine them with a silken thread to obtain something called Summon Owl Feather Strand. Then you will need to acquire a Rune of Bristol Bark, I believe it's called, which is a crafting region for inscription. You can either obtain it by crafting it yourself or buying it. Now the last thing you need to do is to combine the Rune Bark with the feather and you will obtain the appearance. Moving on, let's explore the new travel forms starting with the Dream Talents. To obtain the black and purple color variant, you need to defeat a rare called Ristata Rabbit. Rapid. Something like that. This rare is located in the Emerald Dream at this specific location. Just remember that the drop chance is not 100%. The green and red combinations has a chance to drop from a rare named Matria Kiva. I believe that's how you pronounce it. As you've probably noticed, I'm not so good at pronouncing all of these names. But anyways, it can be found at this location. The next two travel forms you can either purchase from Whisper Bloom at the Central Encampment, or you can try your luck at the Emerald Bounty by planting a giant dream seed, and I explained earlier in the video how you can obtain those. You can obtain the last dream talent by purchasing a silent mark of the dream talent from an NPC called Groove Heart. Then you want to use the item that you just purchased on dream talent mobs scattered throughout the Emerald Dream. Using the item on the mobs will eventually give you the appearance. Moving on, we have a few Dream Stag appearances available for your travel form. First up is this green variant, which you can obtain by purchasing a Mark of the Dream Stag from Groove Heart at the Eye of Yasera. 
and then using it on dream stack mobs throughout the emerald dream just keep in mind that you have to attune a number of dream stacks before unlocking the appearance now if you want this gold version you will need to have inscription or have somebody else craft it for you however before you or somebody else can craft it you need to obtain the recipe and you have a chance to obtain it every single time you plant a plump dream seed during an emerald bounty now to get this last one, you will have to defeat a rare called Ash Whisper, who can be found in a few different locations. Now let's move on to the Dream Sabers. Obtaining the blue Dream Saber can be quite time consuming, so get ready for that. The first thing you want to do is heading over to the Eye of Ysera and the Emerald Dream and looting this box on the ground just in front of the bookcase. Upon looting it and opening the small box, you will get 6 files that you need to fill in various locations, including the Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, Outland, Northrend, Draenor and the Broken Isles, so get ready for that. To fill the vial in the Eastern Kingdoms, you want to teleport to the Dreamwalk and then access the portal to Duskwood. Once you are there, you want to make your way to the Moonwell just next to the portal on the right hand side and click on the vial with the flavor text containing the letter E. For Kalimdor, teleport back to the Dreamwalk or use the portal that you just came through. Once you are there, take the portal to Moonglade and click on the vial with the letter K in the waters just next to the portal. The easiest way to get to Outland is by taking the portal to Shattered City, then flying to the Cenarian Thicket and using the vial with the letter O. Now for Dragonblight in Northrend, return back to Shattered City, use the portal to Stormwind or Agrimar and then take the portal to Dalaran in the Crystal Song Forest. From there you want to fly down to Dragonblight and use the vial with the letter N at the Moonwell just near the Star's Rest. For Shadowmoon Valley in Draenor, you want to use your Hearthstone to teleport to your garrison. I'm really sorry guys, but you have to teleport to your garrison. Once you are there, fly down to Shadowmoon Valley. However, if you are an Alliance player, the Moonwell is pretty much just located outside of your garrison, so just fly out there. Once you are in front of the Moonwell, you want to click on the vial with the letter D. Lastly, for Valshara in the Broken Isles, return back to one of the capital cities and take the portal to Azuna. Then you want to fly to the Moonwell in Valshara and use the last vial with the letter B. Once you have filled all six vials, combine them to create a moonlight. Then you want to return back to the Emerald Dream and make your way to this location. Once you make your way to this location, you will see a dreamstone on the ground and this is where you want to click on your moonlight. Once you do that, something else will spawn instead of the stone and you will be able to loot it to obtain your appearance. And yeah, that's how you get the blue dream saber. The purple dream saber has a chance to drop from a rare in the emerald dream called Keen Eye Sien. I think that's how you pronounce it, probably not. But yeah, you can find this rare at this location. Obtaining the green dream saber is actually pretty simple. You first need to get a silent mark of the dream saber which you can purchase from an NPC who is located in the Wilding Gardens, just north of Eye of Ysera. After obtaining the mark, you want to use it on Dream Sabers scattered throughout the entirety of the Emerald Dream, because you want to attune one of them and unlock the appearance. There is a cooldown after attuning one of the Dream Sabers, making it impossible to attune again for about 5 minutes, so you want to find another Dream Saber while waiting. The last druid form that I want to show you how to get is the new Aquatic form, to get it, you need to venture inside of the new raid in patch 10.2. Once you are there, make your way to Valkyros and fish up 10 awakening sunfish from the lava pool. I'm not sure if you can stealth your way through the bosses, but in worst case scenario, you can do it on LFR. Once you have 10 sunfish, make your way to this pool of water and fish up 10 slumbering moonfish. Once you have the 20 fish, you want to throw them back into the waters of the raid and you should receive a buff called a Tune Angler. Once you have the buff, you want to move down to the bigger pool of water just below it. It's in the same room and shouldn't be too hard to see. You should see a prismatic whisk of fish pool. And if you fish in that pool while you have the buff, you will get an item called Xena the Whimsical Whisker Fish. And once you throw this back into the waters of the raid, you will receive the appearance. And that's it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please go ahead and give it a like, comment down in the comment section because it helps a ton, share it with your friends, do whatever you can because every single bit helps. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.